Romans 9, verse 1, Israel's rejection of Christ. I tell the truth in Christ, I am not lying, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have great sorrow and continual grief in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my countrymen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God and the promises, of whom are the fathers and from whom, according to the flesh, Christ came, who is over all the eternally blessed God. Amen. Verse 6, Israel's rejection and God's purpose. But it is not that the word of God has taken no effect, for they are not all Israel who are of Israel. Nor are they all children because they are the seed of Abraham. But in Isaac your seed shall be called. That is, those who are the children of the flesh, these are, are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as the seed. For this is the word of the promise. At this time I will come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one man, even by our father Isaac, for the children not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him who calls. It was said to her, The older shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. <clears throat> 